The stark contrast of a memorial bouquet in the midst of charred remains of homes and a jet seemed to bring a different set of feelings to those who had to work here today. And for those who live in this quiet North Park neighborhood, even what was going on today was not any less harrowing than the crash itself. Because today, it all seemed to be sinking in. The destruction, the aura of death. Marie Dietz lived next door to where the plane first hit. Her house barely damaged. She remembers it happened while she was praying. And today, her sorrow for the dead is mixed with thanks. But for now, it has changed her travel plans. I don't think I'll get over it for a long time. <laughs> I was, you know, I was really planning to leave for Iowa today. When that happened yesterday, that kind of changed my mind. You canceled the flight? Uh-huh. Mrs. Dietz is doing what her across-the-street neighbor is doing, sitting and watching the investigators try to piece together the Cessna involved in the mid-air collision. And like her neighbor, she does not fear that it can happen again. Like others here as well, she plans to stay. Yeah, I've been here 42 years. I won't be moving. I won't scare me any. Well, you like it here, I guess, huh? Yeah, like, well, I, it's the first place I lived, and the only place I lived in California, and we came out here from New York in 1936, so I don't know anything else around here, so I'll just stay. Many of the people who now live with views of the crash site stayed home today, but they had no desire to wander among the wreckage, even if they could. They instead talked with Red Cross volunteers, who were checking on the welfare of the mostly elderly people who didn't want to leave. And they talked with news people. They are becoming tired of repeating their thoughts. Outside the police barricades, two blocks away, the crowd stayed fairly small. Today, there would be no warnings for those who tried to come in to gawk, just arrests. Crews who had to come inside the lines to restore phone, water, gas, and electric service did not dawdle to look very much either. They said they felt like intruders. Officials say it will be at least a week before much of the way this neighborhood looks now will change. By the time that happens, the people who live here will be more than ready to be left alone. Kathy Clark, News 8, North Park.